So at this point, back to Randy for our final application that, uh, that Dale requested. All right, so we've got a system for doing service. We're repurposing the data and selling it to small businesses. Well, why don't we take a lot of the same concepts and refactor it for um, the consumer market? And consumers have a little bit different uh, need for information or a different desire for how to present information. You know, they're on the go. They're not going to want to log into some application to see what's going on. So they're going to uh, want to be able to work in, uh, in a different platform, and in this case, in their iPhone. So we built an iPhone application that lets them be able to look in. But the whole goal here is we're taking information that we already have, we're repurposing it so we can make more money on it. So now I just have to jump over to our iPhone, get it on the screen here. Everybody see that? Okay, so we're doing a simulation here because it's not a really good screen sharing application for an iPhone. But um, what we've got going on here is, uh, you know, we, we, let's say we've sold this to a family. Let's say we've sold this to Dale. He likes to buy gadgets and so on. He loves his iPhone. And he happens to have a daughter who's going to school in California, or actually going to school out of town. So he'd like to be able to keep up with her and kind of what she's doing. So he logs in, and when he logs in, he can come to the, to the maps, and he can see in this particular case that, okay, the, his daughter's car is tooling around the I-105 in Los Angeles, so uh, she's doing okay. Everything's green. No. But, you know, I wonder what she's been up to. So I can, he can turn on some alerts and come back, and, ah, a couple of alerts. Well, let's see. Out past curfew. <laughs> a little excessive speed. So, uh, you know, in a way, this might be too much information for a parent to know, but uh, it also gives them the, some knowledge of what's going on. Uh, now, why is this daughter put up with this? Well, maybe she didn't know about it, but now actually, uh, <laughs> let's look at things from her perspective. So we'll turn off alerts. and. Uh, so for Ashley, as she's driving around, she's going to want to use this to integrate with her Facebook friends or her trusted friends who have the same service. And now she has the ability on her phone to see not only, of course, where her car is, but also where her friends' cars are. So, you know, she's in California hanging out with uh, different people. You know, her friend Joe's down here in San, San Diego and so on. So she can see where her friends are, and her friends can see where she is, and they can use this as a reason to plan a road trip or the next visit to the mall, that kind of thing. Now, let's say they come out of the mall, and you know it is a giant mall. You walk out there, you got a, your mind was on something else when you went in, and, it's, and uh, you're like, where's my car? Well, the dude map will get you pretty close, and you can zoom in a lot, and you can see kind of where you are. Like, okay, I'm in the northeast corner of the parking lot, but... I need help finding my car, so let's make it a little more visible. <laughs> so I click, on the, I click on the Horn app, and I walk around the parking lot until I f can track where my uh, car is. Did everybody hear that? One more time, Randy. <laughs> it's just, as somebody said, with power, you know, it just comes this awesome responsibility. <laughs> Now, the same thing is true. Think of how often you walk away from your car and you're like, did I lock the door? I can't remember. So you always have the ability to, uh, to come back later and lock your car. So it's just another example of how once we've got this connectivity, if, if the vehicle has been set up with the right things, we can use it to uh, not only monitor, but also to be able to remotely control. So let me turn it back to Dave. He can talk a little bit more about that. All right, so the fun part about this demo, other than it was just kind of a fun thing to play around with, is it was actually, once we had done the original work to set up connectivity and build it in service link, you know, some work in fleet management, actually a very, very simple application for us to, uh, to build. So just one step further on the platform. Uh, so we brought it out to the iPhone, which uh, blessed the folks at Apple. They've made that a pretty easy experience for a developer to do. So a simple application on the iPhone. Another simple integration, well, actually a couple of integrations. Uh, we did an integration to make the, uh, you know, the horn honk on our car simulator on Joe's laptop, uh, and the doors unlock. Uh, and also to go out and grab a list of, of friends where we can track their locations and bring them into our system so we can display on the map. So very simple for this application to build on once we had done the other two in particular. 
And uh, you know, that's what we have as far as demonstrations. Um, you know, all in the time that it took uh, from Dell to set up a quick meeting for us, get on a plane, go out to China, attend a couple meetings, and come back and uh, say, show me what you got yesterday. <laughs> so, so, so this is it. And yeah, the big thing here that was to give you a high-level view of what's going on. The sessions that are today and tomorrow will get, we'll offer a lot more detail into each of these different aspects, how we did the rules, how location services work, mapping, that kind of thing. So definitely uh, take advantage of that to learn more detail.